I had a Mustang at the time, a California edition GT. And it was, it was fast, it was stick shift. So I would always get it to about 110. And I would start my day like that. <laughs> I thought that I was starting my day so motivated because I was going so fast that I, I would get to work and, and just start trash talking to everybody. Like, because I beat everybody there in the morning because I was lifting heavier. Like, like, it was, yeah. Let's get into this video. Cartel got me working for the big faces Federale got my car full of brick cases Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking Eyes picked to my back for my shoelaces Got out, should've seen the look on they faces All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper Set up by the crew, they done put a banger In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there No thing, then attorney went and beat the case Got a job digging holes for minimum wage Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing Quit the drugs, but you know I I went back to selling, six times failing. I went back to prison, got my head right, uh, got my bread right. Yeah. Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe. Trying to do right, I got a mission. Trying to give back to my boys in the prison. The old right. me's gone, I ain't never. Hey guys, what's up? My name is JC. I am Ron Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my team, mi familia, mi raza, you already know what time it is. Suelta la suburba, because we're about to take a ride. What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Ron Strong. It is Friday. All in his name, all in his glory. Thank you, Jesus, for my salvation. Thank you for what you did on the cross for me. It is Friday. Friday, the weekend, <laughs> I would get up in the morning and say, man, it is Friday. And I would do the same thing, you know, <laughs> get on the freeway, go 100 miles an hour. When you get up in the morning, it doesn't matter what time you get up, because I, I get up at crazy hours, but it doesn't matter what time you get up. Remember that we all have a desire to follow our flesh and and think or do what feels good and, and easy. And that's our flesh. <laughs> um, if you're not spending time with Christ, yes, like spending time with him, you're pretty much, you're controlled by your sin. And, and I'm, if you truly, truly like know me or have, have, you know, watched my walk or spend time with me on this whole like journey, I mean, you, you have to see. Believers, like Paul says, have the Holy Spirit living within them. And with the Holy Spirit, we become more and more like Jesus. So like, you're not, you're not doing this on your own. The Holy Spirit gives us the strength to overcome our flesh. It seems that, uh, you know, most people, and just like me back then, especially first thing in the morning, we, we get up, we gather our thoughts, we, we eat, we run out the door, especially if like the gym's the first thing that we're doing. Um, we speed there, we get our testosterone going and we're mad dogging everybody and, and we're lifting heavy and, and our whole day is, is lived like that. Before we could even see it, like we, and, and I say this from like my experience, like we, we fall prey to like the lies of the enemy. And you, you actually start to hate your day, even though like you kept saying you can't wait till it's Friday. But then Friday gets there and you hate Friday, and guess what? You hate Saturday and you hate Sunday because now you have to go back to work on Monday. Yeah, my days used to be from 3.30 in the morning to 7 p.m. at the gym. That's why I was like, in a way, you know, everything that happened, COVID, everything, like, it, it, it was just, 
I mean, remember, it got to the point where I was so depressed that I, you know, it's right before I met my wife, I uh, was ready to commit suicide. Um, that's how miserable and sad and how I let all those lies convince me that, like, that was it. Like, I knew that I didn't want to go back to prison, so taking my life was the best solution. And that's when I, you know, messaged uh, Beth, but... God, God was working. <laughs> That's why I don't ask no more questions. I don't ask and I just do what I need to do. <laughs> and this is what I mean. And I tell my clients this all the time. I'll, ne I'll never make you do something that I haven't done and that I, I don't know what it is like. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like diet and all that stuff. But, but what if instead you were to choose like to start your day with the Lord. <laughs> yeah. What if by grace we fought our sinful flesh first thing in the morning, put it to death as God's word tells us to do so, setting our minds on his ways, what would your day look like? I mean, we start by saying thank you for a new day, to tell you the truth. It's not promised to us, it's, it's, it's a gift from him. What if you just start your day off by saying thank you? Thank you because that day's not promised, it's a gift. And you and only you are in control, Father God. And by your grace, we put aside all our thoughts, concerns, and especially our agenda to be able to draw closer to you, Father God, by spending time in your word and in prayer, Father God. It doesn't matter how busy you are or how famous you are on social media, the truth is that the day belongs to the Lord. And if we discipline, there goes that word again, discipline, ourselves and start each day as a coach you know i always tell my clients i said it before i'll never never make you do something that i haven't done i know the pain i know the lies trust the truth start to see with your heart not your eyes spending time in prayer and putting all your thoughts and concerns or just sitting there and talking to him, loving him, letting him love you. This, this is who we are in Christ. This discipline will transform how you think about the rest of your day and your life. Romans 8 verse 6. Are you ready? My name's JC. I am Ron Strong. I believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for all my sins and today I am a new creation through God's grace pick up your Bibles listen to the word study it memorize it live it walk it it's time to break those chains it's time to teach our kids that there's a better way it, it's time it's time. We need to get discipline. I'll catch you guys in the rebound.